Beautiful. Well, Zach, it's only early in JLT, but what did yep. you like about the team performance last night? Uh, well, it was exciting. Um, you know, it's always good to, you know, to win the first one. Um, you know, I thought it was a good, consistent performance from all. Um, I thought from a midfield group, we took a lot of pressure off Cripper in the midfield. Um, you know, Pat did have a, have a good game himself, but the likes of um, Walsh, Dowie, Samo, uh, Cunningham, just to say a few, um, you know, all took the load off him, so it was good signs. How much of a focus has that been on to, to make life as easy as possible you can for Cripper? Um, well, it hasn't been a, you know, a team focus, but I know that, you know, we enjoy playing with him and we just want to help him out as much as possible. So, you know, as a team and as a midfield group, you know, we just want to share that load all together. I guess the footy public's seen Sam Walsh now, but just tell us what you've seen behind the scenes and over the summer that uh, maybe the way he's played so far hasn't surprised you. Well, I don't think he's surprised anyone inside the four walls at Carlton. He's um, had a huge appetite to compete and actually to learn. Um, and, you know, he's attacked our pre-season with a, you know, a great attitude. So, not surprised at all. Is he one of the more professional kids you've come across? It sounds like he just ticks every single box. He does tick a lot of, a lot of boxes, Walshie. Um, you know, he's a, you know, a, good, a good human, first of all. And then, I guess, um, that comes along with his football. So, he's, he, he works hard and, um, and wants to get better. Do people have to be careful not to have too much expectation on him, given it is only his first season? Um, yeah, I'll, yeah. You know, he's still 18, which um, you know surprises surprises me with it, with how he attacks things. But um, you know, as you said previously, and I think in an interview that he actually thrives on that pressure. And um, being a number one pick, you do come with that pressure. But I think he'll um, embrace it. Do you think the new rules had any impact last night? Um, it's a it was a quick flowing game, um, even in the heat, but. Um, yeah, I, I did think it was a, a good following game. Bit of a scare when Charlie Kerno went down there at one stage, but it sounds like he's come up okay. Yeah, he has come up okay. I think it's just a, a corked calf, so um, they pulled him. Just it was a JLT game, so he'll be good. He'll be good to go. What about for you spending? I know it was only a couple of days, but you're part of the AFLX uh, teams. Yep, spending some time with some of the best players in the competition. Did you get much out of that? Yeah, for me that was um, a really good couple of days. I didn't um, really know to, what to expect coming into it, but. You know, just to, you know, you sit around the room and you look up and you, all your childhood heroes are there. So, you know, that was really good to spend a couple of days with them and, you know, just enjoyed my time. Is there anyone you really sort of got around and tried to learn a bit of? Uh, not particularly. Um, you know, we had Deal Shield, Lockie, Lockie Whitfield and Cripper in our midfield, so they were good to play alongside. What was the message from the coach after last night? Um, the message was just to not get ahead of ourselves. We've still got a lot to a lot to go until round one, and there's a lot of footy to be played. So, um, you know, our focus now is to Collingwood, and um, you know, we'll try and replicate what we did this week. But um, it's not to get ahead of ourselves. How much do you expect the team to improve this year? Um, well, obviously, we we want just improvements every year. But um, you know, another year, another preseason for all the midfielders, the young group who gain. Um, game fitness um, and as you can see with last night there was a consistent performance around the whole midfield group so you know I am you know, confident. Beautiful. Too easy. Thanks, Thanks Zach. Appreciate it mate.